Hey, are you busy? Excuse me, do you have a moment? Do I know you? Have you got the time? Hey, you busy? Excuse me, do you have a moment? I'm sorry, could you say that again, please? Sorry. I'm sorry. Could you say that again, please? Hey, you seem a bit quiet. Excuse me? Would you like your receipt? Would you like to try a free sample? Hmm, you look different. Excuse me? Hey, you seem a Why bit quiet. Why are you quiet. walking I'm like sorry, that? could you say that again? Do you please? always do that? Excuse me? Mm, you look different. Hey, have you changed you your hair? Excuse, Why can you I have a for a moment? Like Excuse me? Excuse I'm me? sorry, I couldn't hear you. Got the time. Sorry? Sorry? You always do that. You look different. Why are you Can I borrow you for a moment? Do you always do that? Sorry, could you say that again, please? Don't worry, nothing bad's gonna happen. Don't worry, nothing bad's gonna happen. Don't worry, nothing bad's gonna happen. I didn't know that I had the anxiety. That was the thing. I, I just felt sick. But I think, you know, before I got the eating disorder, it was like nerves. And the nerves would, like, just spring up just out of nowhere. I think going to college thing was nervous enough. Um, but it was what... The, the, the bus stop wasn't... I didn't, I didn't really like the bus stop all that much, if that makes sense. It was where it was. I'd be really nervous, I wouldn't want to do it, I really wouldn't want to do it. You, because you're nervous, it's saying to you, go home, don't want to do this, where you're trying to fight that. Of course, buses are really, really hot and outside's really cold, so it's that contrast. So there's, there's a lot of things contributing. But then it, it like got to the point where I'll be so nervous, I won't go on the bus. I wouldn't, you know, I decided not to. Because I chose not to, because of anxiety, the next time was even worse. So I was even more anxious. And I made it worse for the next day and whatever. So it got to the point where I couldn't even go to college. My mornings aren't particularly that great. Well, wasn't anyway. So I get up. Um, because I wasn't eating all that much, my stomach would be em definitely really empty when I woke up. So I just Hello. felt pretty Sorry, sick and anxious for whatever. I think for whatever reason about going to college or, you know, getting going. So I'll probably get up with an hour or two to spare, just try and eat something, um, sort of grazing, watching sitcoms and whatever. Ooh, this is different. Hmm? Candles and music. Do you like it? It's kind of spooky. <laughs> I can change it back. No, 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 it's your birthday. As long as no one jumps out in a hockey mask, I'll be fine. <laughs> Social anxiety is, um, for me, it was going out. Um, so, like, meeting up with friends, you know, it's like when you're out of your comfort zone a little bit, when you're out with friends, when you're out in an environment that is dynamic and not quite under your control, I think that causes a lot of social anxiety. I think you've got your own bubble, or when you're somewhere safe, you've got your own bubble and you can control your little world, but when you can't control it, I think your anxiety, I think you start to get anxious, subconsciously. And I think that causes a lot of problems for some people. I think it affects people in lots of different ways. I think it, it's, it's sort of, it's like you've lost, for me it was like you lost faith a little bit. It was like um, life had got to that sort of point where it wasn't. It, you, it was like suffering every day, sort of thing, and you got a bit fed up of it. And I think your, your moral sort of. Um, I think for me, it was just like I gave up. I was starting to give up, so I'm getting fed up. Um, and but it's, you know, it can go back to how people are brought up, or it can be like short-term things, like me, like you know, you, you, it can come into money issues as well. It can come into anything. I suppose, I suppose anyone can be depressed, I think, um, can happen to anyone. It just depends, I think, how, I think it comes down to how mentally strong you are. Uh, but from my personal experience, I could probably say it was like being, it's like you're in a different world. I think the world that you're in isn't safe or 
that you look at the world how it is and I, I don't think it's stable I don't think, and then that causes your world to be unstable probably say it, it's like being in a black hole a little bit I think there's nowhere is for me, it was like, there's nowhere it's really safe, no one's going to make it better. Um, and it, rational thinking sort of doesn't disappear, disintegrate. But there's no anxiety, there's no rational thinking. I think relieved for the start. Because uh, we came into the question where I'd like to get back here. Get like normal again, like the way I want to be. It looked me like I, I look back on it now. I sort of, I don't feel bad about it anymore. Uh, it's just a thing that sort of made me stronger and mentally stronger. Um, you know, I, I can't really understand originally what, where the anxiety came from because it, it was just there. You know, it wasn't like I could turn it on and off. I mean, obviously now it got to the point where I'm like, um, like I'm, I made a decision to come to uni, <coughs> and a lot of it went and I had to work on the year just getting tuned and polished. Um, and it sort of got to the point where I thought, why? Well, I thought it was just too safe, went on antidepressants to come here. So of course now I'm like, uh, exactly how what I want to be, how I used to be. Um, but I think, I think like the anxiety came from like, I think it was just the body, as you just sort of, maturing, you know, I think, because I never really had anxiety or anything beforehand, and then it just came, so I think, this body, but like, I look back and I can't, I don't really know where it came from, but I can see how it all developed, and so I'm definitely just glad and pleased that I'm sort of over it, I can sort of do things again, but like, you know, I can, <coughs> I, can I get it. You know, I get the anxiety and uh, depression and everything now. So, you know, it's sort of like, if I can help other people through it, I'll be, you know, I feel like I can do that sort of thing.